Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. We declare your majesty, we declare your glory. O oh Lord, be magnified, be glorified in our lives, in our families. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you because you are always there to help us. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord, today, as we go into your word, through the Open Heaven Devotional, written by Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, please speak to every one of us. Let that be transfer of anointing. Let that be release of your grace upon our lives. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Yesterday, we started looking at transfer of anointing, and we looked at part one yesterday. Today, Thursday, November 30th, 2023, we'll be looking at transfer of anointing, part two. Transfer of anointing, part two. Yesterday, we started looking at transfer by conduction. And we saw a very good example of the man that was thrown into the sepulchre of Elisha, having been buried. And his dead body touched the bones of Elisha that had been buried, and the man jumped up and he came alive, transferred by convention. We emphasize laying on of hands, even an unchecked can make a difference when you have the right vessel carrying the anointing of God and you also prepared to receive the anointing from the Lord. So today, we'll be looking at part two of transfer of anointing. Acts chapter 19, verse 12 is our memory verse. Acts chapter 19, verse 12 is our memory verse. Acts chapter 19, verse 12. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. Acts of Apostles chapter 19, verse 12. And our Bible reading is the same as of Apostles chapter 19, 11 and 12. As of Apostles chapter 19, 11 and 12. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchief or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. The evil spirits went out of them. So, our friend Lord says, another way by which the anointing can be transferred from an anointed person to someone who needs it is by convention. Just think of how car batteries are charged. Dead battery absorb enough power to supply electricity to your car. In the same way, an anointed man or woman can pray on a handkerchief or oil, send it to the place where the anointing is needed, and miracles will begin to happen through that medium. This is because it has become charged with anointing. In our Bible reading today, we see a very good example of the transfer of anointing by convention. Handkerchiefs, apron, being brought from the body of Apostle Paul and being taken to those that are afflicted. And the Bible says, diseases and affliction left them. So, the same thing can happen even today. We see a lot, especially in the ministry of our father-in-law, Pastor Iyadeboye, where people take the clothes that they wore in a particular program as being declared and decreed by the instruction of the Holy Spirit through our Father and Lord, and they take it all over the world. And there are challenges, there are problems, there are issues, and by faith in the materials, by faith in the God that make that proclamation over those materials, and we begin to see miracle signs and wonders. So the sick people will begin to be healed, cancer disappear, dead men, dead women, they came back to life because of the transfer of anointing by convention. Our friend Lord shared his experience that the very first time 
that he witnessed transfer of anointing by convention. He had just returned from a journey overseas and was tired. And one of his daughters came to ask him that he come and pray for her grandmother who had just been operated on. But because of old age, the wound refused to heal. So her father-in-law said he was tired to go with her, with her to the hospital. So he decided to pray on a handkerchief and gave it to lay it on the grandmother, to lay it on the grandmother. She did. And by the following day, there was a miracle. It is true. It happened. Real testimony. So he just prayed on the anointing, anointing handkerchief, and the woman took it to the grandmother, and she said, she did as he said it should be done. The following day, not only was the grandmother healed, the doctor could not even find the scars from the surgery. The handkerchief transferred the power of healing. You must know, however, that this is a higher form of transfer of anointing than conduction. It's higher than that of conduction. Handkerchiefs, apron, anointing oil were being taken to sick people, dead people. And because of that, the hand of the Lord rests. The mantle of the Lord rests and there is miracle. The Lord will give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have just been newly anointed, you may need to spend quality time praying on the medium through which you want to transfer to the anointing. As you grow in the anointing, you will get to the point where you can just pray a simple prayer on the medium and it will become anointed. You can reach the point where the medium becomes charged just by you touching it. We see it in Acts of Apostles 19, 11 to 12. The Bible did not say Apostle Paul pray on the handkerchiefs, no, or aprons, no. He only touched them while using them and they became charged, saturated with anointing. But that was when he had gotten to the point where God was doing special miracle by his hands. God must trust you. God must know that this reason is anointing you is to glorify his name. Aprons and nankachi were being taken from him and being taken to afflicted and they received healings and miracles. There's what is called anointing by convention and it can be transferred and we have had testimonies, many, several testimonies, especially in the redeemed Christian Church of God. And the Lord will help us to encounter the right vessel at the right time for our destiny to move forward and Jesus be glorified in Jesus' name. So you can actually get to that point where miracles, signs, and wonders will be done through your hands because of the materials that are being taken from you. And many people are being healed. Many people are being delivered. Many dead being raised. But a friend Lord says something. You must spend quality time in the place of prayer. You must be soaked in the anointing before it can be taken away from you. Our hymn is in 25. That great physician now is near. That great physician now is there. You see, when we talk about God working through our fathers, especially the general of ourselves, the redemptive church of God, it's because we have seen it and because we know that God is faithful and is able to do more for as many that are ready to pay the price, as many that are ready to follow every principle and condition that is needed for such manifestation in whatever dimension that we may desire. Because it's by faith, to receive is by faith. To even release is by faith. So there must be an alignment, there must be connection, and God is the only one that will bring it to pass. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Our prayer point today says, Father, anoint me so powerfully that anything I touch will also become anointed. Father, anoint me so powerfully that anything I touch will also become anointed anointed. That is our prayer point this morning. And Jesus will be glorified in our lives in Jesus' name. Our memory verse, once again, is As of Apostle chapter 19, verse 12. As of Apostle chapter 19, verse 12. 
so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or apron, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. It is possible, even now it is possible, but we must make ourselves available, we must soak ourselves in the place of prayer, in the place of worship, then we begin to see even more manifestation than what we are reading about Apostle Paul and many other people in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Almighty God will soak us afresh in the anointing and give us the grace to know that pathway of reproducing, replicating the anointing, the testimonies that we have had in the past in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is well with you in Jesus' name. And perhaps you are not born again. Mm, it will be difficult. Because the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. If you are not spirit filled, if you don't believe in anointing, if your heart is hardened because of the stony heart, it will be difficult for your heart to be responsive to the things like anointing, to the things like the Spirit of God. And it will be difficult for you to carry the anointing or for the anointing to be transferred to you. Give your life to Jesus Christ today and your life will never remain the same. God bless you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Shall we pray? Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise because you are God. We thank you because there is nothing, absolutely nothing that is difficult for you. We believe in transfer of anointing through convention. Please begin to walk in our lives. Begin to perfect every one of us so that we will do that which is well-pleasing unto you and be ready to carry the anointing that you have ordained for our generation in Jesus' name. As men that you have ordained as our fathers, our mentors, that we also through them we receive this impartation. Strengthen them and encourage them in Jesus' name. Let nothing hinder your glory in their lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Once again, our topic is transfer of anointing part two and the Lord Almighty God will transfer his anointing into our lives, into his church in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.